Friday night footy. Time to run, guys. A packed house here at the old Brookie. And the newcomers, the Dolphins, on the peninsula for the first time. Jesse it's getting serious square. now. We're at the halfway mark of the Premiership. And both of these teams with designs in a, a, a place in the eight. So Kepi wearing Jake Trebojevic's number 13. They went back for Cherry Evans there and an early shift out to Ola Kawatu. Now I can tell you, Valiant's Tafare has gone out to right centre, actually. I might imagine it's Ewan Aiken that might have moved into the forwards to start the game. So they've thrown a couple of dummies here. That's Franco oh! Lee. Franco, Franco Lee's, Lee's in the middle. He's in the, back, in the back row. Well, there you go. It's a slippery slope from here, Brinko. So ball played by Garrick after five tackles, and here's Terry Evans' first aerial assault of the evening. The Hammers waiting. He had the week off after Origin. What a year. Andrew described him as an elite player now in the pre-game. It's one of the stories of the season. Ten tries for the Dolphins, and he's got three tries now for Queensland in two Origin appearances. He is a player that brings the fans to their feet with excitement. Here's Brecko. Playing it right Josh, back row. Oh, hold me up, he's hold seven me out from the halfway. Bullimore into the starting team for Manly. Interesting little sideline, of course. The battle of the coaches. Bennett versus Seabold. Bennett leads 5-1. The old master. Who for the first time in his... 904 game career shook hands with his pre game interviewer. Marcus, old Jesse. This evening. Go one, good Kenny. Wayne and Gus. Let's go to JT sideline. Good evening, Jonathan Thurston. Yeah, good day, Tomo. Great conditions down here. 20, uh, 15 degrees, feels like 10, so I'm feeling nice and cozy down on the sideline. As Ola Kawaji nearly gets on the outside. There's a bit of breeze behind the Manly Seagulls. It's saying 28k there, but it didn't feel like that when we were on the uh, field a little bit earlier. Thanks, JT. Off the ball, make plenty of noise for your sideline this evening. And with that breeze, there is no dew on the surface. So plenty of ball movement tonight. And Paseca with an excellent oh, run. A little Go, juggle loss. as the ball arrived. He pulled through the first line of defence, and Cherry Evans pops it up. And Saab made a leap at it. It's been it's lost ball. here by Tessie Mew. And Manly have got the ball back. And they'll look to reassemble things oh, as the ball will be played seven metres out from the Dolphins' line. So Manly's first big chance of the game. It's Top Sipley. Clear it now. Watch it, Marcus. Kenny Bromwich around the legs. Kawasa Farmer, silly part of the tackle also. They shift left. Schuster. Lobs one over the top to Christian Tui Palahu. There's Val Tavare. That's a good read from him. Schuster and Croker in second receiver. And he finds his skipper. And he goes to Garrick. And the wing's wide open. And Saab is going to cruise over to score. Yeah, great footy. Move the ball to the left side. Opened up the field, and then moved the ball quickly. Harvey Norman replay, quickly across the field. Look at this ball here from Cherry Evans. Bullet on the outside. And Saab, and he goes over. That was pretty easy. It's the ball here of Cherry Evans. It'll look great here. Watch this ball. It's assignment there, the winger. Tessie knew he had to be up. Pressuring Garrick. He was stepped back a little bit. Saab, he strolls over. Yeah, it's confident ball movement, isn't it? Manly, they got the six again. Had a shot down the left-hand side of the field, but immediately back to the right. And as Andrew said, watch this ball from Cherry Evans. A couple of little decoys here to hold up the defence and stand them still. Then this rocket ball. That's the money ball there. And that gets Jason Saab plenty of space down the outside. And like he didn't go right into the line. He caught the ball and just threw it. Gave his centre time. In modern day where halves love to dig right into the line and play those second man plays, the centres never get the ball. 
Interesting to see Ruben Garrick in the centres. This is actually the backline configuration that Manly wanted to go into the season with, with Garrick at centre and Tui Pilotu on the wing. And they haven't been able to do it until this stage of the year because of injuries. So perhaps his future's in a little bit closer, Ruben Garrick. We know he's a great goal kicker. He's got the hill behind him. And the Bob Fulton stand is packed, and he's just oh. dragged this left. It's 4 0. A fifth try of 2023 for Jason Saab after five minutes. Confident start for the Seagulls. Back comes Top Sipley. Jury straight up. Hold now, Connolly. Go one. And now Kepi. Big shoes to fill in the 13 and a lot of work to do if he's to live up to Jake Trebojevic's work rate. Different play to Jake, isn't he? More of an explosive ball running type, but effective. Schuster delays the pass and Tom Trebojevic on to Tui Pilotu. They're really running this Dolphins defence around at the moment. Now Tom Trebojevic. Jesse, Jesse. Coming off a hat trick. Oh, Branko Lee hobbling out of that tackle. He had a lower leg injury a couple of weeks ago. Oh, Tessie knew, put under the pump again, took it well. He looks go, gone, Branko Lee. Hold, go one, don't flop in. So they're, they're short of back rowers. Kafusi's out go suspended. Two. Gilbert, he's gone for the year, so. Look at their bench. Ray Stone may have to play on an edge. So the veteran Kenny Bromwich plays it to Marshall King who returns after a week off himself because of a shoulder. And a long kick by Cody Nikarima. Taken by Saab. And they're winning the battle of field position in the early exchanges too, Manly. Only 16 short of halfway. And now Garrick. 98 points for the... Uh, 96 points for the season, rather. He's trying to go past the century three years in a row, Ruben Garrick. Tremendous points, Garrick. And Kohler is a tremendous speed machine on this left-hand side. Unfortunately, he had the, the back rower, Bullimore, on his outside, so they couldn't take advantage of that. And Tui Pilotto is in the middle, taking a carry. He's stopped by Brenko, who's trying to soldier on. Terry Evans. And now Tom Trebojevic, and out the back to Garrett, who dummies and cuts them through again. It's a repeat. They've got the Dolphins in disarray on that side of the ground, and two tries for Manly inside eight minutes. And it's a combination of Cherry Evans to Tom Trebrojevic. Harvey Norman replay. Watch Cherry Evans plays this at speed. Gets into the line and they just strip him of numbers on the edge. Really poor read there defensively from Ewan Aiken. This will show Ewan Aiken. He gets caught up. He comes in. There's no really need to. And then Garrick, he gets free on the outside. Look dangerous, Manly. They're in a mood. Well, it's obviously intentional. It's pretty much exactly the same shape as the first try. Took them to the far left side of the field. Comes back to the middle of Cherry Evans with a couple of decoy runners just to hold up the defence. And then quickly get it to the outside. Trebojevic to this man, Garrick, and he was too slick for them. Jonathan Thurston. Yeah, it's a great line run by Ola Kawatu on the inside shoulder of Ewan Aiken. When you've got a 112 kilo man running along that like that, you need to keep your inside shoulder, and that's where you need your winger, Tessie New, to go and kill the ball. He's all going back, Ewan Aiken's going in, and it's all dramas on that left hand side for the Dolphins. Well, 
they need to find an answer out there and quick. They've been pulled apart badly. Well, that, that's obviously been planned. I mean, there's those two plays there. Virtually identical, targeting the same player with the same ball. And Garrick, who's just missed some missed a goal from this side, should be able to make the adjustment. So Branko is still in the wars. Ray Stone's getting loose, so is Mark Nichols. Boom. Keep a high hammer start by Manly here at home. In front of a super crowd, it's packed out here at Four Pines Brookie. And there's a lot to like about the home team early. 10 0. Kepi playing it. It's had a stop start campaign in 2023. Simply now. Oh, I know we say this a lot, Andrew, when we come over. You're a big team, aren't they? Man, the group is me. Such a big team. Big boys in the middle. Their biggest strength can be their biggest weakness. They get that greater share of possession. They are so hard to stop. The big men rolling forward at the moment. I know it's early. 75% of possession. Tessie knew. He's bobbing away towards him. He's, he's coughed one up. He doesn't look all that confident at the moment. And now Aitken. Featuring every game for the Dolphins so far in their maiden campaign. For Jermaine Asako, the leading point scorer in the comp heading into this round of action. And they've got a, a restart. And one that they will uh, relish. They can try and tip that position scale back in their favour a little bit more. Here's uh, Bromwich now. Tackle made there by Sipley. Marshall King for Jesse Bromwich and Katoa. Quick hand. Oh, Val's put it down. And uh, it, they need to be quick here to mop up the loose ball, the Dolphin, because it was Tui Pilot who wanted it. Lock on up here, Good boys. Good pressure by Manley. This is, this is exactly what Jonathan Turk was talking guys. about. With the outside backs putting pressure on as they come across the field they'll dig towards the line the ball goes out the back look at the manly defenders get up there really quickly in their face jonathan thurston that's who you're describing what the dolphins needed to do on the other side yeah that's right you need to go and when you got a man over uh let them try and go around you and just trust to keep your inside shoulder and that's exactly what the Manly Seagulls left hand place. defense did. They got stripped, they come up, kept their inside shoulder, put the pressure on them, and come up with the error. Brendan Smith's a block of cheese. Val Tafaro. Oh. He's a block. I don't know, I'm just trying to think. Give me a few minutes. A best of Another over. Turbo Evans! Turbo! Sold them a dummy and scurries away! Double B, tackle three. <laughs> three tries to zip. Well, that was too easy. Way too easy. Inexperienced right side defence. Go through their plays. Harvey Norman replay. This is just way too easy. And as Branko Lee, you see, he just switches off. He, he's hobbling. He couldn't get there. When the ball goes past Branko Lee, he's trying to sprint to get across. But keep it on number four for the Dolphins. The ball will go away. He tries to get across. With that injury, he cannot tie on the inside. Turbo dummies gets to the inside of Katoa. Brent Galu with that leg injury. Just couldn't get across. But so he'll be coming off Brent and can't compete with that, with that injury. 
the lovely part of that try is six, seven, and one passing together in the same movement. Trailing each other through the middle of the field. Tom Trebojevic realising the defence was standoffing. Laying back rather than coming forward. Six, seven, one. Best in the business. See you later. A wheel of cheese. You can never have too much cheese. Forty. Nothing. And Garrett from almost point blank. Yep. Five seconds, Jermaine. Stay behind the boys. Well, Branco's done after not even 14 minutes, so that's costly for the Dolphins. They've clearly taken a chance that he was going to be OK to get through the 80 minutes, given they've got a lot of players sidelined, particularly in the back row, as Andrew's already said. But the gambles come unstuck. Mark Nichols on the ground now. Jesse, release it! So Branko Lee hurt the leg, the lower leg, pretty easy, really in it. I'm sure I saw him limp off a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, he's been having issues with that, so well, we're assuming it's a, a re-aggravation of his previous issue. It may not be, of course. All the news from Danica throughout the evening when she gets it. Now, Bullimore, oh, six more tackles on play four. This is... Looking pretty dangerous to the Dolphins here. Ola Kawahu fired. Passed by Cherry Evans, which he took around the boot laces. And they stuck a short side now. Cherry Evans and Gary. Geez, lovely life. Let's go. push up. And big Paseca almost pulls straight through the middle of them. Nichols with a critical tackle. Nine metres out from the line, Cherry Evans dances, one-handed offload, Croker, can he get to the line? Yes, he can, he's over. It's a I've try. Got the ball on the line. I think it's my man on that gets it there. That will be tough. Terrence four. Sutton is giving the try. He says no double movement. Oh, moment. Oh, this is an absolute blitz. Well, their big men are just pulling through tackles. And the, the damage has been done on the edge. Harvey Norman replay, a bit of footwork here from Cherry Evans. He'll get into the line, generate an offload, just the fatigue dummy. Croker goes through. And does he get it down? Pretty flimsy defence. You can just see the fatigue in the legs of the Dolphins. The dummy gets through. Momentum yeah, gets him to the line. That's a try. Well, his whole body's in the end goal. Some real lazy stuff back here on the inside. Croker. His whole body gets into the end goal and the ball follows. This Manly. is just a blitz. Sorry, Gus Manley's player of the year. He is such a tough competitor. Can imagine the uh, Dolphins are feeling somewhat shell shocked as they wait there behind the goal line.
Dolphins fans, don't turn the TV off. We've seen the Dolphins come back round eight. Came back from 26 points down against the Titans. Something? Yeah, they're obviously lulling them into a false sense of security. Yeah, they're they're support where they want them. This is this is super coaching at its best. Oh, there's a there is a third man in here that looked really dangerous. I keep that kind of look. No, they're just on fire at the moment, Manly, and the, the Warriors look, oh, look heavy, this. heavy legged. Uh, the Dolphins, sorry, look very heavy legged. Oh, the ball history. Oh no. You're too long, yeah. mate. Too long. Oh. There's a third man in before. I don't know if we can see it. It looked really dangerous. Absolutely hate this tackle. Here it is here. The player comes in. Oh, it's just... Oh. Yeah, Well, somehow the Dolphins have got to find some uh, resistance here. I just can't let them keep marching through you. The second, oh, how about that from Schuster? They've come in numbers to stop Tolu Kola. That was majestic. Right, the big number six who's using a bit of footwork here. Steps across, steps again. And Jinx does his best Cameron Munster imitation. Gets them within six metres or so of the line. Broker. Nowhere to go. And now another dummy half score and another try. Oh dear, dear. Well, that one might be the softest of the one. Harvey Norman replay, straight out of dummy half, straight over the line, just burrows his way through. That's pretty feeble defence right there. Toast Sipley. It's been strong tonight, Sipley. They've all been strong. Checking this one over for double movement. Okay. Reviewing whether Toff Sipley's ball carrying arm touches the ground and is held, and there's a second effort into the end goal. Well, that's what they're looking at, Jesse. Just looking at the ball carrying arm of Toff Sipley. The ball carrying arm touches the ground, and Jeremy Marshall King is completing a tackle. He then promotes the ball into the in-goal area. We have a decision. Three quarters of his body's in the in-goal area. I would think that was pretty fair momentum. So is the crowd. Yeah. Three quarters of his body ended up over the line. Not as though he just reached out and got it to the line. He's going forward the whole time. Sorry, Toff. Yeah, I think they should review that double movement stuff. Australia's greatest rivalry is underway for 2023. Oh, Tickets are selling fast for women's game two in the State of Origin Series in Townsville and the men's third game in Sydney. Get your tickets today, nrl.com slash tickets. And here's half a break for the Dolphins out of nothing. Can't remember the last time they had the ball. Let up now, push Nine up minutes in, 79% of possession to Manly. Well, that, is, that is looked really slow at the moment. Well, they haven't had a lot of ball, but there's been no energy in their defence at all. Isaiah Katoa. In the corner, and strong tackle made by Asako and Tavare. That's what they've got to do. They've got to inspire each other with energy and defence. Chase these points with their defence. Start putting some pressure on Manly. Show some enthusiasm without the ball. 
Oh, a little juggle by Jason Saab. Look, 22 points is an unassailable in the modern game. They just have to get, have to get some football. Alloyer from the bench this evening. This is a good defensive set by the Dolphins. Manly trapped down in their own 20 for the moment. And Turbo. Takes one of his power carries. Well, the no tries give them a little bit of an option in the lungs, hasn't it? Mm. Might have been the, the let off they were looking for, but there's a long way to go in the game. Oh, Tessie New belted by Croker on kick chase. And Aloyo, who you can see, has got that right knee very carefully bandaged. Oh, driving defence again on Aitken this time. The hammer. 47 slashing metres in Origin 1 and that dynamite. Well, last try, well, the first one wasn't too bad either, was it? Six to go. Monster kick. Six to go there, late flop from Sibley. Herman SASA bounced away from Kepi, one handed offload. There's the bloke you want off your offload. I must say, Tabuai Fado, 29 metres from the Manly line now. Can they open their account? Here's Nichols, Marshall King, Katoa, an early kick in behind Joey Pilotu, brilliantly weighted. That's yeah, nice. Goal line. It must Everybody. have to do with Katoa, oh. Gus, coming through the, the junior ranks at Penrith? No, no, it was before my, after my time. Oh, OK. But I watched plenty of his junior football up there, and he's just another that's come through the academy, and as soon as he gets to the NRL, he looks like an NRL player. Very confident, knows the game well, speaks well about the game. Good size too for a halfback. Well over 90 kilos. Brave effort from him in his first NRL season. He was given the number six jumper initially ahead of Anthony Milford, but he's had to steer this team around for the bulk of the season with O'Sullivan's sideline. And uh, Sean O'Sullivan's not far from return actually, a couple of weeks away. Jeremy Marshall King being one of their best in 2023. Now, Nicarima, or does he take advantage of a, a lead runner? Didn't want to take the chance, so he submits. 11 short of the manly line. Marshall King now. Katoa. Oh, again. Clunky, clunky. Yeah, and that's defensive pressure. Running behind each other like that because the options just aren't there. Marshall King for Cody Nicarima. Beautiful ball! And a try for Asako in the corner. He has any impact. That's his 14th of the line. year. That's an exquisite pass. Andrew, what about that for a bullet? Well, just watch the way he changes his hand position. Harvey Norman replay. He's got his hands pointed down, his fingers, for a short pass. And then he adjusts them and just goes whoosh. And throws the tunnel pass to Asako up close. Just watch the hands. You have his hands positioned to pass short. Change his hands, winds it up, and just goes whoosh. That's as good as it gets. Now, Andrew, you called that a tunnel pass. Just explain that. It goes behind one player and in front of another, doesn't it? It well, finds a, a tunnel is uh, the outside man. The standard block shape out the back where Hamaso is, but he throws it behind the back rower and then out in front of Hamaso to the winger. That is uh, inch perfect. His pass, very hard to get right. Isn't that right, JT? Yeah, it certainly is, Joey. And what you're looking for is the winger or the centre to be in a starting position to pull the trigger to come out and shut it down. And uh, he uses his vision really well there, Cody Nicarima, to spot the winger coming out. And he just goes straight past his face and uh, pulls his pants down. So great vision by Cody Nicarima. It was just the strength of the pass, too. I mean, he really gave it a rip, and that ball fired like an arrow to the intended target. Well, if he can kick this, the scoreboard doesn't look quite as bad. Love a comeback. Swinging around. He's got it on a string. Great kick, Asako.
Pines, Brookvale over on the beautiful northern beaches, 22-6 now. And Jermaine Asako is second on the leading try scorers list behind Mike Asibo for 2023. It's not only a hit back, it's a 12-point turnaround. I mean, the, the double movement try under the post was going to be 28-0. Danica Mason, some breaking news for us. Yes, as we just saw on the screen there, Branko Lee is back out on the bench, but he will not be back into the action tonight. He's been officially ruled out. It, he has succumbed to that ankle injury. They did bring him back out onto the sideline. He went through a fitness test, uh, but unfortunately he was in too much pain. So you can see there he's got the ankle iced up. And... Ooh. Pressure. Yeah. Well, possession started to even up a little bit. It was 78%. Manly. It's now at 65. Hey, Lachlan. 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 Got to be up there, mate. There's no penalty for that either, by the way. Yeah. Last tackle. Last tackle. Last tackle. Okay, time on. Last tackle. Go. Last. Nick Arima. Challenge for Saab. Ball bounces. You made contact before the ball, Tessie. He contacts him before the ball, mate. He didn't get it right. Connolly Lemuelu there on screen. What a year he's enjoying. Yeah, they use him really well. They look to go wide and they turn him under. Change the point of attack and he runs that line really well. Scored a heap of tries this year, I think. Revelation. That's the Wayne Bennett genius. Lemuelu, fringe first grader at the Cowboys, comes down here. He's been one of the best performers of the season in the back row. Well, just the Warriors rained on Canberra's parade. Yes, they did. As predicted, Matthew. Mm. Yeah, good side, the Warrior. Their semi final point, I'm sure. Mm. Disappointing for um, Jared Croker. It was a big night for him. He's 300, but. Warriors held their nerve and took them to the sword. Oh, they carved them up in the second half. Canberra led by two at half time. Tackle, Tom Shabrovich tonight. A couple of times he's been in first receiver. Last, I haven't seen that often. Turbo. They all came rushing out to put pressure on Cherry Evans and he squeezes the pass out the back. Now Croker with a looping ball over the top. Numbers again here. It's a three on two. It's a kick by Ola Kawatu. It's a brilliant kick by Ola Kawatu. <laughs> What touch for a gigantic man. Yeah, he's talented. Everybody up. Multi-talented. Run, pass, offload, and just watch the, the gentle nature of this kick. You'll catch it standing still, take a little bit of an assessment, and say, you know what, I can thread the needle there. Just feathers that towards the in goal and Time it in the middle forces right the line drop out. Now they're thinking short. Few catches stacked up on it. He's going to kick it long instead. Carries 40 odd metres. Kepi. Well, the Dolphins would be encouraged that the only real good ball they've had, they've been able to come away with a try. Yeah, this is where they've got to show some resistance, though. The Seagulls have been having fun with them. Yeah. Dummy, Schuster, and Nichols with his experience. It's a cross from inside and makes the tackle. I think it's a second effort there from Mark to pull him down. First time. Play on. Turbo. Big tap. Turbo. Eight tries in his last eight games here at home. Tackled by Aitken. Broken to Cherry Evans. Bodies in motion. Out to Schuster. It's a pass that was behind Tui Palotu. 
from Blade to Cola. Sister now and Ben Condon. Back towards the middle of the park. Oh, Croker, straight through the middle. The mark is split and he, he took the liberty there. He only got stopped a couple short of the line. Here's Turbo again. One-handed pass doesn't find its mark and went straight to you and Aitken. Well, he's human, I think. He was just commenting before Josh Schuster. Two or three times now he's dummied and run the ball. I've seen him take the line on not too much. Well, Tavare pulls through. There's no denying his attacking ability. And here's a, a brave run by the half, but Katoa sees the momentum and takes a hit up himself. Now Nikarima. Kicks high. Saab positioned underneath it. Well, they found the rhythm now, the Dolphins. Wayne Bennett coached teams. Never boot himself. High completion rates. Kick long. Defend. Started the game really slowly. Dragged it back. Another Finu. 19 year old. Saw his younger brother play tonight. He looks a good player. 5'8. Very handy playmate. Silky skills. Scored a couple of tries. Laid on a couple. Well, again, they rush Terry Evans, and again, Turbo's there, and he got it off by the way, and Croker throws the boot at it, and Garrick's going to score! That's freakish by Croker! Well, there was only one team urgent here, and that was the Manly Seagull. Get them straight down the middle, a speculator of a kick, and then only one chaser. What's this? Harvey Norman replay. Simple little dummy and ball back inside. Trebojevic gets to stand in the tackle. Kroger backing up, feels himself going to ground. He kicks. Oh. Oh, well, I don't know that he's onside, uh. Garrick. Garrick could be a, a stride in front of the kicker there. It was just that Kroger got dragged down by the tackle. Garrick may have overrun him out to the other side. Jonathan Thurston? Yes, yeah, great work by Kroger. But just watch the urgency from Tessie New on the wing for the Dolphins. Once this ball is kicked, what about that? He should be just sprinting for that ball. Just no urgency, and his part gets paid for it. So it's not good enough for the Dolphins. Well, Ruben Garrick has a kick to bring up his 900th career point. That's unbelievable by Croker. Well, it was last play. He knew he had to get it away, but the balance with which he showed here just to get it done. And got perfect weight on it. Cameraman's done the dipsy doodle. Didn't believe it himself. And he's nailed it for 900 points. seconds. Time your run, guys. There's a contented-looking coach's box with a couple of Trebojevic's and a Parker up there behind uh, Anthony Seabold and his men. Ben Condon now, 28-6. Remarkable skill there by Croker and great urgency by Ruben Garrick. First and pointed out, perhaps not so much. Tessie New for the Dolphins. Now, Alloy A. Good play, the ball. Full of more. Could have been full of energy. The Seagulls. Terrier has missed his mark. Scoops it up in one hand. That's a play they love playing on that right side. Cherry Evans, Ola Kawatu. 
He disguises the pass really well, Cherry Evans. That time I went to ground. And all Hamaso Tabuai for Doe can see is a wall of Manly Maroon jumpers, and he gets picked up and dragged back. He's eight for now. Jeremy Marshall King, Isaiah Katoa, Val Tavare. A couple of young guns colliding there. Kohler, a very brave defender. He, he, he whacks a few Kohler. Kohler, he defends well above his weight. There was no fear there, was he? Huh? Threw himself in front of the bigger man. Plenty of hang time under that. Trebrovich. Steadfast as ever. Ray, 10 metres. Mm. He hasn't run 10, mate. He hasn't run 10. Ray Stone. The Gotcha for Life Foundation and the NRL have teamed up to build mental fitness in grassroots footy with the One Pass at a Time campaign. One pass can change a game and one conversation can change a life by your virtual pass at the uh, QR code on screen there. Making a power of stopping once again. And Bullimore. Goes inside the Dolphins 40. Now there's Turbo at first receiver. It's Schuster with a lovely, delicate ball away to find her. And it was a great tackle by Tavare. Back to Aloye, who's met by Marshall King. And assistance rendered by Ray Stone and Kenny Bromwich. Schuster on the right hand side of the field now. Dumped it to Bullimore. Might have been a bobble in there. Oh, there's enough to There's the West Pack red zone. You can see how much field position play the balls. Seagulls have had. Well, this is ominous. 28 to 6 is bad. Played by Pullamore right under the black dot. Schuster, no look up to Boyevich, dummies. Geez, that's great play by Tom. He could have thrown that pass. But he just held on, took the tackle. Really mature play. Jerry Evans, Olakawadu pursuing a kick. Oh, he's gone to ground there. Was that illegal? Was it all fair in love and war? Let's have a look. Kayash coming in to tackle four. Have no try. Looking to see whether Hamali Olakawadu gets run off the ball here. Potential professional foul or penalty try. Man, the kick chaser on the side. Ewan Aiken and Harmoli are both running towards the ball. There's no interference. We're playing on at this stage. Kessie New takes possession and runs dead. We have a decision. Just watching Josh Schuster, some of his ball playing tonight. The change of speed, the deception with his hands. Past selection. No, they're both going towards the ball, mate. <laughs> you've, you've dodged a penalty and you want Once one. Again, we all know the it's a big turnaround. Gone. Take a leaf out of the bloke on the sideline. Go along, guys. No shot clock the way here. JT on your run, Jesse. No. Get some of those attributes in his game, the way he trains. Josh Schuster will be looking at a special player. It would have been a little victory for the Dolphins if they could deny Manly here in the last four minutes before half time. And here's Cola again, Tavare with an important tackle. He's a beautiful mover, Tolu Cola. Sister Croker, Condon. 15 out. Back to the middle of the park. Croker playing left. And Schuster and Kohler versus Tavare once again. Good battle. 
Croker, a dig through. Terry Evans is coming through after it. It's tapped over the back by Cody Nicarima, but the pressure Goal line. mounting. Well, it's like up. a training gallop for Manly. They're just rolling through their plays, controlling the ball. And when they have to, they get these beautiful little kicks into the end goal to get the ball back. Over in Jonathan Thurston of HAT. If you could sit down with Josh Schuster, give him some uh, some advice, what would it be? Yeah, well, he's got all the attributes to be a great half. He's got vision. He's got skills. He's got great passing game. He's got a kicking game. And there's been a lot of said about uh, his weight. So I think if he can control that... I got the ball back. They do as well. So if he can control that, and no doubt he can become a really great half for the Manly Seagulls. Oh, that's an enormous play from the short drop out. Well, Lachlan Croker gets two hands to this. Instead of catching it, decides to bat it back. If you can get two hands to it, why wouldn't you just catch it? wearing a bruise guitar, does he? He's a tough boy. And we know how tough Ray Stone is. The ultimate tradesman. Karima kicks it up in the air. Oh, the hammer takes it, but he's got nowhere to get the ball away. Easy Great kick chase of the hammer. High or low, long or short. Beautiful sense of timing. Scored the first try in the origin, chasing a grabber kick. But he can chase the high ball and come up with a grab too. Gets it high up in the air. He can also run a bit, the hammer. Yeah, he runs OK. Doesn't look like he's running real fast. It's effortless. You pull the stopwatch out and you go, wow. Everyone around him looks to be going slower. I know that much. <laughs> He beat Nichols. Terry Evans is down on the backup. Terry Evans might not have the speed. He dribbles a pass out the back. It's picked up in one hand. If they get it out left, they'll score. The Dolphins have defused it. Surrender. He's head. Up now. Hold. I don't know how they've survived here, but they have. Oh, oh no, the hammer. Nobody wanted to run the ball. Okay, show lock on. Well, that was a bumbling end of what was a, a pretty bumbling first half, and they've still got a few seconds to survive. Oh, Croker, beautiful footwork. Some tired forwards up the middle. Cherry Evans didn't have the pace. Dribbles one out the back. They kept it alive. The Dolphins get the ball back in the shadows of half time and then turn it over on tackle one. They just really didn't know what they were doing. So what do we got here? Last play. Cherry Evans. Kicks and chases himself, the hammer catches that. Oh, he's going to try and get around him. Great half of footy for Manly. They have been on song since the kickoff. They've scored five tries in the first 40 minutes. And the Dolphins, just the one, it was a good effort, but they have conceded a fair deficit after 40 minutes here in Friday Night Footy. It's Manly 28 over the Dolphins 6. <laughs> Manly very good back here at home as they invariably are. Here's Jermaine Asako. Slips over as he's trying to shift up through the gears. Now Mike Nichols. Claire Donahue's on the field now for the Dolphins. He's the man at acting half. Ball goes to Herman Sasa, who before tonight had played Manly eight times for five different clubs and won all eight of them. Last tackle, Ben, get square. Daly, hold Good luck, Charles. High kick by Katoa and pressure from Osako. You can see there's a bit more intensity about what the Dolphins are doing here just in that first set. So Kurt Donahue has gone to dummy half. Very rare that an interchange is done at half time. 
might, might get a, sorry, I think he's on the bench. Yeah, the gang at our sideline to go find out about Jerry Marshall King. He's coming back from a shoulder injury. Oh, there, there he is. Mm, yeah, he, he missed a week with a shoulder. Only a week. Danica Mason, she'll be trotting up to find out what's happening now. Daily Cherry Evans, we know he's the master at 4020s. In fact, he shares the record with Cooper Cronk for the most 4020s in NRL football. 36 is kicked in his career. Here's Big Val Tavare. That was a run full of venom. Go three. Johnny here to stone. This is better by the Dolphins. Johnny here runs. He's taken by Finu and Bullimore. But they've got it uh, to within touching distance of Manley's line here. Katoa firing it to Nikarima. He props off the left foot. Then he sticks a kick to Oh, that's good hands. That's fine to the back row who got down to collect that. Pick it up. Pick it up. Cut. Up and square. Hold. Oh. Ruben Garrick. Ruben Connolly. Danny. Hold. Hold. Tackled by Limuelu. Past the 30. Bullimore. Just give it to us really loud, mate. Strong, early. Mark. The penalties are starting to mount up against the Yell Dolphins here. Burns. That's the sixth of the game. Just one going in their favour so far. Yeah, that was an offside penalty called by the bunker. Condon. Up, 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 up. Kenny Bromwich thinks he's knocked it on. Turbo uh, he's had to play the ball. Fired out to Cola. Sister, Terry Evans now. Goes behind Condon for Turbo, another pass that's hit the turf. And Saab has to go back to retrieve it. Last tackle. The ball went to ground because Tessie knew he was on his assignment. Came out of the line. Exactly what Jonathan Thurston was talking about in the first half. Danica, what can you tell us? It is unfortunate news for the Dolphins. Jeremy Marshall King, he will not be back into the action tonight. Uh, it is a shoulder injury. In fact, it is that same shoulder injury that uh, made him miss last week's game. Uh, so, unfortunately, we can see him just on the sideline here getting ice on that shoulder. He will not be back tonight. Good luck. Good hands. Really good hands. You and Aitken. Oh, juggled by Tessie New. He didn't lose possession. Plays the ball in the middle of Manley's 40 metre line. Up she goes, Bromwich thundering after this. Well taken by Tui Pilotu. Spoke about Manley's, the size of Manley's pack. Keep the ball in play. And going to go into a, a cycle of three, four, five, six minutes. Let's enjoy with their big men. They can really tire out. Oh, Cherry Evans kicks over the top. He's got his speed man there. Turbo. Turbo letting down. Turbo versus the hammer. He got a pass away to Garrick. Garrick stays alive. Back to Turbo. Extraordinary. That's backyard footy. There's a bit of interference all the way along here, but I think they'll let it all go. Firstly, I think it came from the referee, and then Dolphins got in their own way as they tried to get back and scramble in defence. 
from their own end of the field. The little chip kick. What a beauty. Harvey Norman replay. Garrick into the backfield. On to Trebojevic. Now, the referee gets in the way there of Hamaso, but he's able to balance up and get across there to get to Garrick again. Back to Tommy. The Dolphins fall over in front of him. And Did Nichols get taken out? No, nah, I think he's I think he's done it to himself. Right. But this is brave, <laughs> creative. When's the last time you saw a chip kick inside a team's half? Not since Phil Blake in the 80s when he used to play here at Four Pines at Brookie. Josh Reynolds did it in Wollongong earlier this year. Did it from three metres out from his own line. Chipped over the top for Jake Avarillo. Very similar there tonight. Great confidence by Daly Cherry Evans. Great vision. Chip into the backfield and his speed men have backed it up. And Tommy Turbo. Come on, mate. The Blues need a win. Needs you at your best. Well, he's got five tries in his last two outings for Manly. Super footy. We love seeing teams throw the book out the window and back themselves and they've come up with six points for it. Taking footy by the home team. Here comes Aloye. Boom. Now Condon, who's played big minutes off the bench for Manly tonight, former Cowboy. And Bullimore, who's gone right through since the start. DCE for Olikowatu. Oh, loose carry. Ball's come out the back. One on one, where Cody rips it out. Yep, that's a strip. Really? Well, saying it's a strip, really? By the Dolphins, and it's gone forward. Challenge. Yeah, challenge. In the old days, it's okay. just a lost ball. Ash, Dolphins are challenging the ruling of a one on one strip by Cody Nikarima, and that it goes, uh, that I've ruled knock on. He's got the ball now, he hasn't got the ball. You lost the ball. It's a one-on-one -on -one strip, just having a look to see the direction of the ball. After stripping the ball, the ball travelled towards his own goal line. It's play on at this stage. Deli Cherry Evans takes possession and then it's then stripped again by Cody Nicarima. The referee then blows a whistle. It's a mutual infringement. Cody Nicarima will play the ball. The challenge is successful. Did you want to decipher all that for us, Gus? Daly gets yeah, he lost the ball. Another one on one strip, <laughs> and it always goes that way the backwards, so it's Cody's I, I, ball. I must have missed a meeting at no some time in history because I don't know when this all changed. Out. They don't invite you. You run with the ball, you lose the ball. I know, so that's why it's no tackle. You run with the ball, you lose the ball. You lose, yeah, you lose the, ball. the ball. Here, here. We've just wasted oh. two minutes of my life. sequence that with Nicarima turning it underneath and then a ball out the back from Mason Teague who's on the ground now this is Donahue give room now lock in Marcus hold go to Tom get up here one foot hold go to Lima Wellu oh here's a good 
a charge. Leader out from the line now, Donahue, short ball. Crash play doesn't work. On that now, here's a big bell to Vare. Look at the fend, he's holding them off, he's dragging the defense. And with him that they bring him to ground a couple of meters out from the line. He's head up to square. Hold. He is a tear away. Hold, big Val. Hold, yeah, no he's like a runaway Mark locomotive. Red. Harold about. That's a good comparison. He would be a nightmare to tackle. They're the hardest to tackle. Low center of gravity, big barrel body, explosive with footwork. Slips up. Geez, a discipline. Is that eight penalties and given away? Really poor. Can't beat teams out of trouble, especially not manly with this big pack. Stop start nature of the game, and just their petrol tanks get filled back up, and then look at them come off the back fence. For more points, well, they've been good. What they want, don't want to do is get back into bad habits. Their form has been up and down this year. Well, there's another early kick tackle, too. Dinked over the top, Carla with the running. Speed, baby, speed. Love speed. Just love speed. Harvey Norman replay. Schuster over the top. So here you go, speed man. Get in there. Hamaso. He's only at half pace. He really wasn't keen about it. Pinpoint accurate there from Schuster. Kohler. Oh. Just turns the afterburners on and scores comfortably. Speed. Who would be the fastest in the competition? Over 100. Fox. Fox? What about Saab? Fastest man on the planet. What about Khan Barrera? Uh, yes. Fastest man Can on the planet. Can we have a race at the end of the year? Yeah. Maybe not down Manly Corsa with Turbo. No. I'm not allowing Fox to race. Actually, speaking of Turbo, where's the coach's box? Can we go and get Turbo... Bring him off. Early shower, please. It's like Seinfeld. We choose not to run. Let all the others work it out who's the fastest amongst them. Fox is the fastest on the planet. But he's quick. He's a swift individual. He's Mr. Cooler. He showed it there. I'd love to see your horse hitting the line like that tomorrow, wouldn't you? Run opens up and boom. Yeah, but it's, you know, the courage to make the kick. That's great footy. And as I was just saying, like Manly don't want to get into bad habits. They've, they've been up and down all year. When you've got it going good tonight, fill your boots up. Go out and score a heap of tries and look good doing it. Yeah. Kohler's first try of the year. Is it? Yeah. I wouldn't have believed that. He missed a fair bit of footy. He might get a couple tonight. Up, I'd like to think Manly are in a mood. This could be a big number. It's already a big number. I think it's the biggest the Dolphins have conceded. This is the first time they've conceded 40 all year. Pretty fair effort for a new franchise. We're into the cold months now. This is the first time they've played in Sydney. And we're heading into the middle of winter, and uh, they've been shell shocked tonight by the home side. Get into the cold months. 
points, then you find out how badly you want it. Find out how good you are. And Tessie New bumped off the first tackle and he's put down in his own 30. I think the New South Wales selectors would like to have Turbo off the field. I'm kind of the other way. I'd like to see him out there scoring a couple more tries and keep building confidence. He's had enough time off. Needs the football in his hands. Needs to be playing. Needs the confidence. He needs an early shower. <laughs> Bring him off. <laughs> no, no, no. Trust the system. And where's his sidekick? Latrell Mitchell. Latrell will be at home. Hope that calf's OK. What a hammer. That was blistering speed and a deft ball out to Tessie New, but it was covered nicely by Saab and Gary. Sent from Aiken. Now Nikarima. Stabs it through to the end goal. That's a nicely weighted kick. And there'll be a dropout coming on the back of goal it. Goal line. That, that was Finu again. Picking up that loose ball. Nice kick from Nikarima. Good shape on it. Is he the brother of the young 5'8"? Yeah. He's flag side, is he? Yeah. Ten seconds! Similar appearance but different size, aren't they? One got the big jeans. Jesse Bromwich back out there. Good tackle. Croker. Donahue's looked sharp from the back half. And here's Mark Nichols. Good quick play the ball. Inside Manley's 20 now. Katoa to Ray Stone. Good defence on Tavare. Over in that uh, northeastern corner. It's Katoa again. Mikarima floats the ball out in front. And Tessie New tried to catch it in one hand and dropped it. There's a nice pass. Tessie New to Ants Tessie. Ball goes down. Danica, what a super crowd for Friday night footy over here at Manly. What a start to the long weekend for all these Manly fans. There's barely a spot left on the hill. They're all gathered in there, shoulder to shoulder, enjoying this performance that the Seagulls are putting on. In fact, there's 14,598 in attendance tonight. Be careful going home. It's double demerits. Oh, oh Paseca. Oh, lost the ball. Was it raked out? That was a lost ball. Double knock on. Up here, boys. 20 scrum. Oof. So you know things aren't going well when the front row is punching holes through you like that. Look at the size of it. <laughs> it's freakishly big, isn't it? I was in amongst all of the Manly players tonight. They're in a bit of a huddle, and they're, they're big humans. They are big humans. What are we doing in amongst the huddle of Manly players? Oh, I just found myself amongst them. I don't know how. I was wandering around the days. Oh, Hammer! So he's burnt them. Well, that's what he can do. He burnt coal on them. It'll be tackle one. Speed, baby. Speed. It's the superpower in rugby league. Watch this. Watch this. Harvey Norman replay. Watch this. Watch this. Now. That's roadrunner stuff. Straight past all of them. Look at the speed here. What's this? Me 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 me. A little bit of a shuffle and just whooshkar. Ugh. It just makes it look easy. The that balance. Had, that had, I, I just got flashbacks to Origin right there. Speaking of which, the countdown is on to uh, Origin Game 2 at Suncorp. Yeah, it would
could be passive and sliding, having any slide defense on him. And the hammer adds another try to his tally for the Dolphins uh, this year. So, Asako. Yep. Pilots that through. Yes, the Origin Countdown, Suncorp Stadium, the venue. The Blues hoping to pull off an against the odds win to send the game to a side of the Maroons, hoping to secure the shield. Don't miss all the build up and the analysis from 7 p.m. Wednesday week, exclusively live and free on Nines at Wide World of Sports. I saw Wayne Bennett had some words of advice for the New South Wales selectors yesterday. Just what we need, a Queenslander picking our team. I got a four for that. Who did he pick? Yeah, the South boys there. Well, maybe right. One former South boy. He knows a fair bit about the origin. He knows a little. It's a, a real shame for South fans and Cody Walker that he won't be there this week. See, that might be reverse psychology. That's, that's the reverse psychology. He says, I'll tell them who to pick, and they won't pick it because I said it. What, a coach doing mind games? Yeah. Never. A long, tall, skinny one. Reverse psychology on the Blues. They get very cocky to the when they're on. Rima for Limoelu. Good contact there. Ola Kowatu, Garrick and Cherry Evans. Brought the big back row to ground. Now it's hoisted in the air by Katoa. And it's taken by Tom Trebojevic. Like we've seen from Tom Andrew tonight. Yeah. A couple of times he's opened the right up. He's the leading like, meter eater. A like couple of times too, he's, he's popped in first receiver. And he ball played to Cherry Evans. With his size and speed, he tracks defenders. Big tackle there for Kepi. In past years, Andrew, when he's played centre for New South Wales, he's had very much a roaming commission. He's gone in field looking for the ball, having people short inside passes to him, or chip kicks for him, or bombs for him. He's really gone looking for the ball. Whatever's happened here is accidental. He's just fallen over. Well, he went there a couple of times in the first half. He roamed over the other side. In Adelaide. In Adelaide, yes. So we had a stat before the game, the Telstra tracker, where he actually went to and the tries he scored. From right centre, popped up all over the field in past series. Is the tear away, Bel Tavare <laughs> takes half the Manly team to eventually drag him to the Brookvale turf. Masako for the hammer for Nicarima, and the ball comes out now to give it a Oh, he's hurt himself there, the shoulder. Oh, not another one. Got dragged three. down right on the front. Yeah, tackle this three. Is a, this is an AC injury. <laughs> The AC will pop up when you land on your shoulder like that. These hurt. Yeah. Particularly when you, you can't protect it, you know it's going to happen. I think there's even well, padding. padding there. He, he, he might have it a prior. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. I'd say he's got a current AC. You can see the padding under his jersey there. That, when that elbow digs in the dirt like that, it just tops up. The shoulder pops up. Oh, still it. I'd show you mine, but I won't take my jacket off. It's too cold. Last tackle, oh, well, for all money, he was gone, you know. Yeah, I'd, say, I'd say he's got current shoulder issues. Fell on it really awkward, which hurt him.
they're really trying to come off their line hard here, the Dolphins. They're trying to show energy. Here's the versatile Cole Lawton with his first involvement of the game. Good player. Wholehearted player. Sister Nicola, who's seen plenty of ball in the second half. That's been a really good battle over on that side of the ground. The two young... Okay, young Bromwich. Yeah. Bromwich is down now. Slow to his feet. He's a tester. And the side comes roaring forward and gets high in the air and takes it nicely. It's a big weekend for the Blues selectors, isn't it? Did they pick the team Tuesday, is that right? After the Monday night game, or are they picking it Monday before the Monday? Named, named Tuesday. Tuesday. An eight-day preparation for a very, very big game. Going to Queensland, the level of series doesn't get any tougher than rugby league than that. That's probably the ultimate challenge our game can offer. Mm. Yes, Kenny's had enough. Oh. Hammer with a great feeding on Garrick. Oh, oh well taken by Trevojevic. What a take. Move late. Great reaction. Move late. Great composure underneath. The testing high kick. Now Samuel Afanu, 19 years of age, raw bone, but looks all athlete, doesn't he? Pass to Kola from Tui Polohu. Back to within 20 of the halfway. Just to the Lawton and to Kepi. back into the teeth of Manley's defence. Well, it's going to be a hard examination from here on in for the Dolphins that they do expect Felice Fusi back following the bye, so he'll be back next game for them. Sean A. Sullivan, as I mentioned earlier in the coverage, due to return round 17. We know Anthony Milford and Jared Wallace have each been suspended until round 19. So if they can keep themselves in the finals hunt until that time, they could have the bulk of their squad back with the exception of Tom Gilbert, who, as we know, is uh, has gone for the year because of that shoulder dislocation. Kick through it. Bobbles around there on the Manly goal line, and it's taken by Cherry Evans, and he gets well, the, a drag back. They're up 40 to 12. Goal line. And Cherry Evans, no, not, I don't think so. and the last play comes from his right side and folds him behind just in case. Nick Arima gets a banana kick back to the middle. Look at Cherry Evans just coming across, just in case, just in case, and gets there. They end up getting him back to the end goal, but. Just competing. Time to run, guys. Even at this stage of the game. And they're well, well and truly in front. Herman S.A. S.A. Romich now and Stone. Trip to Sydney. Remarkably, for the Dolphins in their first year, and the scoreboard hasn't been kind to them so far, but they'd be hoping to finish this in positive fashion. Tavare, again, marked nicely by Kohler and some added help from Schuster. It goes to Katoa, and Donahue had a little bit wider. Eight metres short. Stainbridge Herman back on an angled run. Go 
Krakatoa tries to drill it through a hole and it's nicely covered up. But there'll be goal another goal line, line dropout coming. So some controlled football and a bit of sustained possession for the Dolphins at this stage. Beautiful line. A little bit cool. But uh, as Danica said, wonderful start to the long weekend. So up. much footy to enjoy. Ten seconds. Good game in Sunday. Coming out. Melbourne West and Sharkies. The West Pack Red Zone. Evened up in the second half. Dolphins three. Only four. Back comes uh, Big Poasa. Farmer Silly. Now Jesse Bromwich tackled on Manley's 20. That's Toff Sipley. He had his uh, a rare uh, try knocked back by the bunker in the first half. Trap and Scott Fine is there again. He goes to Kohler and uh, don't bother chasing. He roars away and scores under the post. 44 to 12 and a kick on that front He's a glorious leader. Oh, it's a lovely sight. Lovely sight. Watching fast men go the length. It's beautiful to have a player in your team that Harvey Norman replay. Ball bobbles up here. Fano picks it up and then he says, oh, there he is. You take it. Bye-bye. That's all over. Look at that. Racing away. He's done some good things fine, even cleaning up loose balls. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful hands. Look, doesn't panic. Just picks some balls up around his ankles, even there. Mm -hmm. Gets the ball, shows balance, stays on his feet, and then finds the speed man. He looks a player in the half. <whistles> it, it has been a really entertaining game. Now, there's no dew on the surface. It's been really windy in Sydney today with the westerly breezes blowing. All our big games are played at night. We spoke on the Sunday footy show about this. Somehow come up with a way to get rid of all the dew, the dew on the surface, because tonight, it's been like a day game. Move the ball laterally quickly. Such a different game when there's no dew on the surface. minutes to play Sunday afternoon as I said a blockbuster in Chemist Warehouse Sunday footy the Sharks and the Storm head to head in what is always a spiteful encounter it's Munster versus Hines and it's down at Amy Park and you'll be able to catch the action live and free from 3pm on your home of rugby league nines wild water sports now really fascinated to see how Melbourne bounced back from last week because that's the most points they've conceded in a game in 20 years <laughs> against the Cowboys. Cowboys were good. Really good. Danica, some news? Yeah, it's just an update on Kenny Bromwich. He did come from the field uh, for a head injury assessment. It was classified as showing Category 2 symptoms. So that does mean he has to go through the 15-minute testing, but with 10 minutes left on the clock, uh, he will see out the rest of the game in the sheds. OK, thanks, Danica. Here's Lawton. See, that was good speaking off the mark. DCE. Left to right pass. Garrick, lovely. Backhanded ball. Saab's over now. Try number nine. There's a 50. Raise the bats. Well, once again, Cherry Evans. Giving his centre early ball. And Garrick gets the ball. One-on-one -on -one with his opposition. Harvey Norman replay. What's Cherry Evans? Gets, gives it to him early. Gives him time. And then he skips the outside with a Gidley flick. And then Saab's on the slip and slide. Get it down. Four centres these days. Don't get enough of this. Just early ball. When they get the ball, they go one-on-one -on -one with their opposition. This time he skips the outside, gets the fan. The Gidley flick. <whistles> I feel sorry for centres nowadays. Just don't get enough early ball. This is what I wanted to see from Manly. 
to go right on with this. Let's keep playing good, expansive football. Everyone be on the ball, looking for opportunities. Don't let the game fizzle out and make mistakes and get sloppy. Jonathan Thurston. Yeah, it is great work by DC to get the ball to his centre. But with the ladder being so congested as well, as you said, Gus, you don't want them to put the cue in the rack. You want them to put the foot on the throat, be relentless, be ruthless. And this is what the Manly Sea Eagles have done tonight. They've put the Dolphins to the sword. That was a bit of class from Ruben Garrick there. Changed direction, Funny. held off his opponent. Ball in the backhanded fashion around the corner, hit the mark. That's an elite group of, of players in terms of points scored, Andrew. Look at that. Graham Eady. That's for the three-point try in those days. Yeah. Matthew Bridge. Here's the next one in Ruben Garrick's sights. No. Oh, what a great kick. The road to the World Championships in Fukuoka, Japan is on for our Australian swimmers. Catch the World Championship trials taking place at MSAC in Melbourne, exclusive live and free on nine now from Tuesday, June 13. That's Tuesday coming up until Sunday, June 18. The best of the best that Australia has to offer, looking to seal their place through to the World Championships. Just wait for the clock, mate. It's all time over with the Olympics. Well, months away now. Oh, well taken. Big Hamali Olakawatu. They've got some strike tower, this manly side, don't they? Yeah, crikey. I've done it without Jake tonight, too. Time for an early shower to the leading. Having fun. That's like your mum calling to the park and having fun. Four. Oh. Evans inside pass, Schuster, and the oh, turbo oh, drag oh, down. Oh, well, they're putting on all six, the plays now. Six more. Oh, six more. oh, he dropped it. Penalty. Take the run, the penalties in favour of the... Now there, guys. Yeah. One foot here, boys. They've been under pressure all night, the Dolphin. Another try coming. Who will it be? Can you feel it? Lawton. Just up, steps up the left, comes back. He wants a try. He got it away under great pressure. Terry Evans. Oh, he flips it out the back, and Kurt Donahue is trying to race upfield. Gets as far as he's 40, and DC comes flying from down the other end to stop the counter attack momentarily. Anyway, now you and Aiken. Well, this is some recovery. He was Gonzo five minutes ago, and that's the sloppy stuff I'm talking about. It's hard to be grim when you don't have to be, but you've got to be disciplined. It's... Katoa, short pass to Herman SASA. He's trying to hold off defenders and he's wrapped up. Within four metres of Manley's line by Paseca. Nice pass out to Katoa and then the hammer and then he floats one. That's a beautiful ball by Hamaso. Now, the corner no post isn't a factor here. It's a matter whether Tessie knew got the ball down before his body went over the sideline. Oh, he got it down. OK. Ash. He's destroyed the corner post. Had no try. Looking to see whether he goes into touch or touching goal. That was a beautiful curving pass by the hammer. Well, the linesman has said no try here. Let's have a look. Up. Kiss his new feet are in the air. Oh, he loses right. possession yeah. over the trial line and the ball goes touching goal. Wasn't we have close. a decision. Jonathan Thurston's down there. Did you, you, had a, you had a lovely view of that pass by Hamaso, JT. I know Front we, foot. we 
something sort of newish to this fullback role, but it seems like he's working hard on that passing element of his game. Yeah, that's the one area of improvement for the hammer is his passing game, icing those three on twos on the short side or coming out the back. So, as you said, it was a lovely ball to Tessie New, hit him right on the chest. All he had to do was get to the line and put it down, and he couldn't. Great defence from the Seagulls. JT, I understand Hammer so works really hard on his game. Is that right? Yeah, really he certainly, dedicated. He certainly is. Uh, inquisitive young man, uh, always asking questions. Um, and as you said, he does work extremely hard on his game as well. So, yeah, he's got a big future ahead of him. You don't normally see that. He's punched straight through Olakawadu. Garrick with another one! Ah, oh, the scoreboard's struggling to keep up now. Such a weapon, Olakawadu on this right side. Hasn't really got too much ball tonight. But any space. Harvey Norman replay, and for a half defending, it's a nightmare. Look how big he is. Beautiful pass through the line. And Garrick is getting some points tonight. And when they flex their muscles like this, I mean, you can just see it's a class footy team. If they can keep these people fit and healthy, anything's possible in this competition. It really is for any of these teams. It's not as though the top sides are super sides and you win four or five in a row in this competition, you'll leapfrog a lot of them. Look at what the Warriors did to the Raiders tonight. I mean, it's... You're yeah, just talking about Hemisa. It's, it's rare that you have someone with so much natural ability who is extremely dedicated to his craft. Here's Garrick's three tries. He's had a night out. So, if he kicks this, he actually equals his own club record for most points in a game. He's kicking for 30 points. Wow. And he's uh, also equal with Matthew Ridge on that mark, so he shares that at the moment with Matthew Ridge. I've had 62 text messages, people saying, can you take Turbo off? Can you take Turbo off? Is Brad Fittler one of them? One, three, seven, nine, eleven, and thirteen was Brad Pittman. Well, not too many of the Manly faithful have left here. They're making a tremendous noise, and that made a lovely thud off the boot. Women's State of Origin comes to a conclusion Thursday week and the Maroons wrap up the series 2-0 or will the Blues fight back and spoil the party in Townsville? Not easy to do Thursday, June 22. Women's State of Origin game two, live and free on the home of Origin 49's Wide World of Sports. Just going to wait for the clock, mate. So the Blues Stay have to win by Emma. nine points. Nine or more, I believe, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Gus is our women's origin guru. Yes, they've got to win by nine or more in council. Did you see, uh, see enough in that game, Gus, that suggests there's the improvement there for the Blues? It was they hard. Can. It was so slippery. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about, the dew on the surface. When we spoke to Millie Boyle on the Sunday footy show. She said the ball was like a cake of soap. Yeah. Mm. It'd be different up there in Townsville. Yeah. Fast surface. I think the Blues play more of their game off the little halfback, the little teenage halfback. What's her name? Jessie. Jessie South Jessie Southwell. Southwell. If they just leave it to her, I think they can win and win handsomely. Andrew's adopted her, but she's got to have total control. Even though she's young, I'd be giving her total control, both sides of the field. Don't play her in a corridor. Let's let her play. Stand back and be ready to support her. Sorry, I'll stand corrected. Andrew's trying to adopt her. She's a beauty. Oh, yeah. And works hard, loves it. How old is she? 18. Wow. Schuster with the latest chip and chase effort. And Katoa gets back there to, to defuse the situation. I've never seen so many players chasing after a chip and chase. There were six Manly blokes running after it. Oh, and Valtavares crashed over the top of Ethan Bullimore. He needs a nickname, doesn't he? 
engaging. Get up, well, they were calling him Val Menindi, I remember, when he made his debut up at the Magic Ground. He's just the chunk. The chunk. The chunk. There you go. He'd have been a handful of another great fan. If the NRL players are having trouble with him. through the rest of them. All right, Seagull, one more. You've got 90 seconds. Need to try to win. Tackle one, just roll the ball in. The rest. Roll the ball. Daly, Daly. Can we get the ball, mate? Classy performance. Let's bring it in here, mate. Daly, in here. Yeah, where you are, Tom? Ewan. Plenty of skill, mate. plenty of one. speed. Started strong. Push up, Cody. Okay, time on. Go one. Well, there's a couple of key ingredients they've got covered. They've got a big physical pack, but they've got ample speed out wide. This man is. Oh, they're quick. Man for man, they're as quick as any team in the competition. Saw that their flag team play today. Some really good players in there. Impressed with a couple of the young fellas there. Yeah, they're well down the ladder, but there is some great individual talent in there. It's forward. Forward pass. So we'll have a full wrap of action coming up after the full-time siren here. So don't go anywhere. There's a lot to talk about. A huge win for Manly. A most satisfying one for the coach, Anthony Seabold, who leading into tonight... Had faced Wayne Bennett on six occasions head to head as coach and had just the one win. This is an emphatic outcome for okay. his team. Tom in, shot clock off. Great. Hammer sale. The hammer. He's after it. He's got it. And he's going to score another one. Right on full time. What a weapon. What an absolute weapon. They've had nothing go their way. And he scored two tries tonight, pretty much all on his own. Have a look at the balance and the athleticism here. Early kick, Harvey Norman, Harvey Norman replay. And watch, he's one of those players, the ball bounces to him. Look at that. And look at the balance, the speed. You're talking to people who know are in and around the club, talk about how hard he works on his game, how disciplined he is, how much he wants to improve. As I said, that's rare. Someone with so much natural talent. What a future. He's a supreme athlete. Yep. So that's it. Uh, I'm gonna wait. A positive note for the Dolphins to end that. They're gonna challenge. Uh, but Manly, uh, had this locked up and probably safe and fairly early. They came screaming out of the blocks. And they went on with the job. Big win. 58 18. Plenty of points in Friday night footy here at Four Pines Brookie.